Hi, what is eczema? It is a chronic inflammatory disease of the skin. Number two, it presents in childhood. Number three, it usually has, you know, like an intermittent flare up followed by remission. So it flares up in between and then there are good periods. Number four, it's also associated with some of the other diseases with allergies, things like seasonal allergies, food allergies, and uh, asthma. So children who have one of these is more likely to have the other ones. And then how does it present? So the most common symptom of eczema would be itching. So it presents with intense itching and then the skin in those areas where it presents, it becomes very thick and then dry and um, you can see the skin markings more common. And then during periods of flare up, there is also associated redness of the skin and some flaking and scaling of the skin. And which are the common sites for eczema? So normally it presents in the face, so like your cheeks, especially in the babies, you get eczema on the cheeks, you can have it on the creases of the elbows, on the knees, uh, on your neck, and the areas which are typically spare are your groin and your axilla. And so those are some of the common things. Five home remedies for eczema. One, use soft cotton fabric close to the skin and avoid itchy fabric like wool. Two, use a cool mist humidifier both summer and winter to keep the skin hydrated. Three, use a hypoallergenic laundry detergent and avoid things like softeners and bleach. Four, you can use a heavy moisturizer like Aquaphor is a really good one um, and even Vaseline. Basically use it you know, all the time um, whether they are having a flare up or not. So use a good moisturizer like, such as Aquaphor or Eucerin or even Vaseline. And then during flare ups, you can do things like hydrocortisone, which is over the counter strength, and then by prescription strength steroids as well if it's really flared up. Um, the other thing to remember about using topical steroids is typically it's advised not to do it more than 14 days at a time, um, so to give the skin a break. Um, and then you can continue using the moisturizers. And so those are some of the things that you can do about eczema. Um, the other thing to remember is if you have food allergies or if you suspect food allergies since they usually run together, might be a good idea if they have really severe eczema is to get a food allergy test done or an allergy test done so that you could avoid if it's triggered by food and they have some sort of food allergy that they can avoid it and that might help prevent the flare ups. So those are some of the things about eczema. I hope that helps. Don't forget to hit subscribe so you can get further videos from me. Thank you.